The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, good afternoon, folks. What we're going to do now is take a look at Apple. If you remember, one of the things I was looking at in the stock market was the possibility of us making a top up in here, given the fact that we had this beautiful cycle coming in on the 13th of November. And shucks, I looked down at my calendar today, and the 13th of November has come and gone, and the prices are going a lot higher. You can see here how the stock uh, of Apple gapped above its uh, price. The low of the day was actually 186.30. The 618 retracement was 186.36, and we're up a buck and a half uh, above that. So all I was betting, uh, I'm going to go through the whole thing so you'll be able to understand what I'm looking at because that's going to be affected on what we do tomorrow because we still have a lot of more trading to go for the rest of the week. But tomorrow will be our live trading day. We'll have a lot of fun doing that. So the first thing we're going to do right now is we're going to answer the question that someone posed to me about putting a stop in. This gentleman called me, and he really wanted to be a buyer of crude oil today because we had talked about that it did look like it was going to back off a little bit and then had a pretty good run. And his problem was, he said, well, he said, I really don't really don't understand, you know, how I can do that because I don't believe in stops. So I had a nice discussion with him. This was real early in the morning. I'm going to bring up the chart that we were looking at. This is where we were. Hold on one second. And you see, there's where we were the other day. Remember, we've been following this the whole way, folks. We bought here, sold there, bought here. And I try, <laughs> I tried to... Uh, sell it up in here but I was too busy last night to do it but you'll notice here that the low that we made last night this is what this morning on the on the report now why why would the report for CPI have anything to do with crude oil come on guys give me a break anyway well the probably reasons that I just don't understand but there's your low there's your high there's your exact 382 and he says well how much of a stop I says well you're looking at a contract that's worth seventy seven thousand dollars Figure your risk, uh, you know, 4%, which is $300. He said, well, okay. He said, I'll try it. That was four-tenths of a percent. Anyway, you'll notice here that he, he had a buy in here at 77.80. The FIB number came in at 77.78, <laughs> believe it or not. And anyway, that's what, uh, that's what he was looking at. And so he did buy it there. And, of course, when it took off, he took his profits a little too early, but he really did it. Folks, what I'm going to show you now, I don't do this very often, but we're going to be doing live trading tomorrow, so it's really worth it. I want you to, you can see these numbers. There's the 61% retracement. There's the 38% retracement. These numbers are used by the Wall Street and the Commodity Boys and the Forex Boys. They really are. L let me prove it to you, okay? This is what I want you to see, okay? Now, remember... Today was a big move in the stock market. Let me get this up here because I did this trade and I want you to see it because I'll show you what happened. This is where we were before the report. You see, this is where we were before the report. And right there, well, I don't think I'll be able to do it because it's the range is too big. Yeah, it is. Anyway, <clears throat> let's get it up here one more time, Larry. Okay, here was the 382 retracement right here at 4430. Look up at the top here. And I'm going to show you there was a high 44.30 right there. Okay, that's where we sold it. The market came down to 43, um, excuse me, 44.24. Uh, okay, and then it went back up to here. Now, well, what I did was I was in this during this report, and I put a stop in at 44.35. Now, look at this move right here, folks. You see that big move? You'd think that you'd have got creamed on that stop, right? not happening no let me show you why uh, there's two things that you have to see here because they're they're both coming at once and I want you to see it hold on a second here is my trade sheet from last night I'm gonna blow it up so you'll be able to see it a little bit better but two things I want you to see here okay first you're going to see this is silver right here we're buying silver at 2217 
That's where we were buying silver at. You don't see the stop because it didn't get filled. 22.17, okay? Right below that is where my buy stop was. You see that buy and where it says stop? This is a limit order to buy the silver at 22.17. There's the stop on the S&P at 45.35 and a half. My order was at 45.35. I lost a half a buck on execution in a market that was went from 44.35, folks, to uh, 44, uh, no, it went to 45.10, uh, I believe, for, no, 45.15, moved 80 handles up, and yet I got filled right on the spot. Okay, now all of these, these are there's a total of 10 trades here all night long, and believe me, there was a lot of action going today, so there's enough, time, enough for everybody. Ordinarily, I don't do anywhere near this many, but things were rocking and rolling. Uh, of these, there were 10 trades. Uh, there were eight winners, uh, two losers, uh, eight winners, one break even, and seven winners, and some of the winners were, were pretty good. So what we want to do now is I want to show you we did the S&P. You can see what happened there. <laughs> Why didn't they have a reverse stop there? I keep asking myself that every day. But let, look, at the, let's look at this one, folks. This is really amazing. Now, we were bullish silver yesterday. Okay, I sold it here at the 50% level last night. I told the folks to sell it at 46 and put an order to buy it at 22.17. 22.17 was the buy. The 61% retracement was 22.15. And we went to 22.17. Uh, uh, the low was, at, excuse me, 22.15 was the low. Our order was at 17 and went all the way up here. Now, I got out of that up into here because, I mean, we made, remember, folks, we were buying here at 22. I got out at 22.40. That was two grand there. There's another two grand here, and another three grand here. So this has been a bonker day for the old silver market today, and we were lucky enough to get on to part of that. The reason why I'm telling you all this, folks, is because these numbers have hit spot on on every single trade that I've did. I mean, it's just, I'm just going to go through a couple others, okay? Because we were we were involved in these. I mean, these are not ones that we're just making up. This is hopefully what we're going to have tomorrow is this type of action. Look at this one here, folks. This is the soybean oil. We've been in this for several days. There was our 61% retracement. If you'll remember, we said buy it right here at 50. The low was 49.84. The price objective was 53.37. I got out of it right here before the before the report came in because that completed this this 78% uh, level. So I sold it just a little above that. When it got to here. At 53.37, I had an order in there to sell it at 53.37. The high on the darn thing was only 53.57, and we've come down about 80 handles from that level. So I'm just showing you these because they hit these numbers so close that it, it's really you have to put a stop in or you're just absolutely banging your head against the wall, and you're never going to make any money. All of my success, folks, that I do this for – is because it only works part of the time. It's the part of the time that it doesn't work that keeps me in the game where I get stopped out and move on to the next one. And believe me, folks, I don't even think twice about taking a loss. <laughs> I take them so often it's like, like second nature. It's like breathing to me. So if you can learn to do that and believe in yourself and just, you know, when you're wrong, just get out of Dodge. I mean, how about some people that were really bearish the stock market? And, you know, I, I thought it was going to go down, but my golly, it didn't. I'm not going to stand in front of that freight train. I mean, my goodness, it went, you know, I've, I've done it in the past. It's not fun. Let's take a break. 877-927-6648. Tigers. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to trade right alongside Larry Pesavento? We'll wonder no more. Wednesday, November 15th, Larry Pesavento will be hosting a live trading webinar. From 8 a.m. to noon, look over Larry's shoulder as he analyzes potential trades and sets them up. Not only will you get a front row seat to the mind of a veteran trader, but you'll get to interact with Larry live as he places trades and goes through key material that has aided him in his profession. Go to the front page of TFNN.com, sign up for the service, and enjoy. TFNN. Educating Investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. 
and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, I want to show you uh, how I use the Ensign program here in just a second, but I have an announcement to make. Those of you out there, other than just a few of us, will remember before we had these charts, it was all sent to us by usually special delivery, delivery on Saturday morning. And uh, that's what we tried to do. We hit hand posted them every day at the end of the day. And uh, later on in life, around 1978, a man named uh, Mr. Tim Slater of CompuTrack uh, came out with CompuTrack. And by golly, this is why you've got these charts in front of us. He was the forerunner of this. By 1983, five years later, there were a lot of companies starting to bring it out. The data was coming in. The Chicago Mercantile realized and Board of Trade and the Knife and all the others realized that we could sell this stuff, this data, and people are going to buy it. And so they're charging us every month for this data <laughs> before we never had it because it wasn't important. But Tim Slater is still alive, folks. He lives down in New Orleans, Louisiana, where he was born. He lives in his grandfather's house, which is a hundred and 50 or 60 years old, I believe. It's an antebellum home. It is a flat-out museum. I've known Tim for a long time. Uh, I met him through, uh, that's where I first met Mark Douglas in 1983, uh, after I had left Drexel, and I was starting to work on these computers. That's why I went to the floor was to understand how to do this, you know, that I'd be able to do this at home, and I wanted to see if the orders were, were fair and everything, and they sure are. Here's, here was my mistake. I thought this 618 was going to hold today, okay? We made a little bit higher high yesterday at 34, 36 and a half, and then we backed off a little tiny bit, and I do mean a little bit. We came down just uh, 18 handles. Uh, harmonic number is 15. It came down 18 handles, and this is when the report came out. I had my stop in there. I sold it at 35, 
and I, I was 35. It went down to 28, and believe me, I had my stop in before the thing happened, and I didn't know where I was going to get filled, but I got filled, as you saw in that trade, 44.35, right and a half, lost a half a point, virtually nothing. Okay, the reason why this is important is because look where we are now. Now we're at the 78% level. All I know is what goes up sometimes comes down. So here's what I want to do. Someone asked me how I use the Ensign program for cycles. All right, first thing I'm going to do is reduce, get rid of everything, okay? I met Ensign in 85. They wanted to put up a program for uh, trading and stuff. They saw this coming, and so they came down to visit me in uh, Pismo Beach and traded me for one day that ended up being about a week. And they, I was just one of those days, almost like the day where I couldn't do anything wrong. And they said, oh, my goodness. So they stayed with me for the whole week and did a whole bunch of work. And then they said they were going to build this program. And they were interested in cycle stuff. So they built a simple t cycle tool where if you go from low to low and high, you see you got that little cycle tool that's in here. See, it goes from low, high, high. That, that's all it is. It just shows the 14-day cycle. Okay, but they did it a little bit differently. They made this so that if you mark this and just went to it like this, you could go in and put the moon phases in. So you put the moon phases in, and there's your moon phases that I look at. Nothing more than 14 days. So I get it out of the way. See how simple it is? You just move it out of the way, and then you can bring this up, and you can start to see the thing. Now, looks looks where we are now, folks. Remember, I thought this was it right here. See, I thought yesterday was it. What if this puppy's a day off? And today's the high. Hello, operator. We got to pay attention to that puppy today and tonight, because how close are we to the seven eight six of this number? Hey, I'm not. I'm just looking for a trading opportunity. It missed it by four points. We're trading at forty five oh nine. I'm going to put my little beeper right here because I'm going to sell that son of a gun if it gets there, and I'm only going to risk about eight or nine points. That's all I'm going to do. I risk five here. I'll risk eighty nine here. That's all I'm going to do. That's how this little thing works. It's, you can do it by yourself. Or you can count. Just get a calendar and see when the days come up and count 14 days down to the next one. There's your, there's your new moon right here. There's your full moon right here. on the That's the eclipse on the 27th. And boom, the way up. Now, you want to hear something really sad? And this is a god-awful truth. <laughs> I hate to say this. It's really embarrassing. I never bought this one time the whole way up. Not once. I never got a chance because I looked for ABCDs. There weren't any. Didn't even have any 3A2s. Went against everything I do, so I can't buy it. Now we're up here. <laughs> so, But, you know, that's I did okay. I'm not complaining, but I missed it. I mean, I the, the, the buy was on that day right here. The next day, you know, it opened higher and never looked back. Never gave you a chance to buy it. So you had to do it then. Almost like the gold was, folks. Remember the gold? Everybody hated the gold when it was down here. At uh, how low did we? Where is that gold at? Right here it is. Here's gold right now. Remember we were looking at this darn thing down here at 44. There was our number. We got as low as 36. 44 was the buy. Now we're at uh, we hit 74 today, and uh, nobody wants it. So <laughs> look at the gold. Even into the report, this thing backed off. It backed fifteen dollars at twelve from the high to low is fifteen dollar break and then it goes from uh, thirty nine up to seventy five straight up okay and you can see the little action right in here so what we're going to try to do tomorrow is line up some nice trades uh, intraday for the five hours that are going to be working together and we'll have a lot of fun learning to do some of these things but that's the uh, that's what we're looking at here and and these are just this particular program here is the Pesavento patterns. It measures the exact ratio from this low to this high. In other words, you'd like to see it 1.618. Well, Ensign built it in so that it's right to two decimal places. Okay, I paid somebody. I met them and I met them in what 85. In 2000, I think I paid somebody a lot of money. At least mid mid five figures. I think it was sixty grand. Anyway, to build me something like this so that I could see these swings automatically, like the wave trader, like you know that uh, Bryce Gilmore, because Bryce got all that stuff to be able to see that. See, so here's what we're looking at now as we look at gold. If we look at this. You see, we made a fifty percent retracement of the high right back here. Look, there was your there's your last three eight two point three six. Now it's your fifty percent retracement. Now what you have to watch for in the gold. If you're smart, and I think most of you guys are, you want to watch for this little puppy right here. 
1960, folks. 1960, that's what you want to be watching. That's the one you want to be watching. That's when Tommy John signed his contract with the uh, <coughs> Cleveland Indians. <clears throat> anyway, let's take a look at that. You'll see here 1960 is where you want to be looking to be a buyer. Not only that, but that's going to be down 17 handles from the high. The harmonic number is 17. Pay attention to this puppy, boys and girls. It could be the trade for tomorrow without any trouble. If you're willing to believe on the 382s, you're certainly going to be able to do that. So we're going to pay close attention to that here as we go through this. I hope that explains how the Ensign program works. They've got a video on how to do that. I have no affiliation with Ensign, folks. I get no commission. I, I, even if I did, I wouldn't take it. But uh, they, they do have a good ch a charting package, and it's got all the little bells and whistles that I use. And uh, they built all of them, the ABCD pattern, the Pesavento patterns, you know, secret moving average ones that I use. Like when I hit this, I can see my secret moving average one. Folks, <laughs> I hit that button by accident. Anyway, let's uh, move on here, and we'll be back here in just a moment. Eight seven. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, uh, this is the soybean meal. Remember, we were long the soybean oil, and what he wanted to do was to short the soybean meal. So your long oil, short meal, that's part of the spread, the crush spread. All I'm doing is A, B equals C, Ds, folks. You notice you come down, you stopped exactly right here. That's your 382 retracement of the low you made back here. 
five days it stayed there. That tells you how important that low was. And there was a 382 today. It also, if you look at it real closely, you can see that you had a nice A, B, C, D pattern right here. So that's it. And we had a nice run. So tomorrow, we're going to be watching to see what this next one's going to be. Stay tuned. It'll be the mystery trade uh, possibly uh, for tomorrow. But we did those trades. You can see there's the meal right down here at uh, 1955. I bought it at 5670, I believe, because I, I shaded it by a buck and a half because it was really active. Uh, I think, let's see if I think I can get that up here and show that just to show you where it is here. There's the meal out here. Uh, MSC Z65. Where are you, meal? Son of a gun, I don't see it right here. Here it is, right here. There's the meal, 5670. That's where I bought it, and I sold it out right there. See where it says sell? I made nine, ten dollars on that. And so 11, 1100, uh, yeah, because I bought it back again later. Uh, these were the oil trades that I did. So I just put these in because I want to show you that I'm actually doing these so that you'll be able to, you know, try to hang on and do what I do. I've had a request to talk about uh, this is from a, a dude that used to be out there. His name was Sam Brenner. He was an Ohio farmer. This has been around for a thousand years. Well, maybe a little less. But basically what it did was he had these different cycles. You can see here they run 17 to 18 days through here. This one here is 20. You know, this one here is 16. But he was saying that the market were high and lows during these times, you see. So if you go back and look, starting in 1931, the high, 1931, the low didn't occur. The low didn't occur until 19. Uh, 32 in July. See, there this off by quite a bit. There's your 1981 low, which is pretty good. There's your uh, that's 1951. I, here's where's the crash low. Okay, look, there's no indication of the crash low. Here's the high, but there's no indication of a crash low in here. That's why I had a lot of trouble with the Sam Benner stuff. I mean, some people can use it, but I can't, folks. I'm a I'm a nickel dimer part timer. I'll tell you, I I look at the 14-day cycles, and I let Shane Smolian, Norm Winsky, Bill Meridian, all these other dudes look at this stuff on the other thing. And we've got a caller coming in. Shut the front door and raise the rent. It's Mr. Z from Philly. John, how are you doing? Oh, I'm doing I'm doing great. I love all your little witticisms. What did yeah, you say? Well, uh, keeps me alive. Uh, nickel and dimer <laughs> part-timer. Is that what you yeah, said? That's me. That's me. Nickel dimer now, part-timer. I love it. I love it. Larry, I wanted to uh, <clears throat> ask you a very specific question on the T-bond futures right yes, here, sir. right now, uh, asking if you yes. might be able to pull up, say, a two- or four-hour chart going back maybe eight, nine trading days. You got reason, it, brother. Um, oh, I oh, see a pattern oh, oh, that oh, you've uh, used many times before. What I'm seeing is it looks to me like it's a candidate for a three drive to a top pattern completed just a couple of hours ago. And uh, I wanted to ask if you can look at that. And if if that's what your read is, is that a uh, is that a trade setup that you generally take by shorting it? Oh, if you can't do this one, you can't do any of them. Johnny in the little room here, we're a little trading room here in Tucson. He's got his placard up, and he says, give Mr. Z an A. And I'll tell you, John, let's just look at this together here. We'll get rid of all this other stuff, because if I were doing this right now, I'd be in this trade with you, because there is drive one. There is drive two. There is drive three. And that is what we call symmetry. Take a look at this. There's your drive one right here. There's your low. There's your low. There it is right there. Look at the symmetry. Look at this beautiful line going across here. This one is 1.27 of that move. This one is almost 1.27 of that move. So that's right here. Your risk is above here. Uh, if it's above 116, I'd say, you know, move on to the next one. But that's where I would be looking. I'd been I'd be really looking to be a seller up in that point. I just looked at it, John. So I, I I was very, very friendly to bonds today because if you looked at this from what we talked about yesterday, look at this. We've been here for one, two, three, four, five, six days. And all this can do all during that time in a massive bear market 
It only makes a 382 retracement right here. Are you kidding me? There was nothing bearish about this puppy. You know, so I, I wasn't interested in selling it until you just pointed it out. But there's drive one, there's drive two, there's drive three. But, John, you got to be careful here. You see this number right here, this 116.12? That's a full handle from where we are right now. So if we get above we get above one, that the high we had here at 23, try it again here at 116.12. Because at that point, you've got the, the, you've got the, the other ratio that's really important. In other words, I'm going to draw it in again so we can see it together. Thank God it, Ensign made this program for me to make it easy. But there's your first low, okay? There's your high. There's the other one. See, if this doesn't ha stop it, it's going to go to 116 right up here to your 1.618 level. 11610 yep. 11613 so put your little uh mark on that one because if it gets above there I don't think it will but of course anything can happen it usually does if we get it but there's where we're going to go we take this out that's where you're going to go your risk here is really small you're, you're talking a few hundred bucks you know even somebody from Wisconsin can afford that <laughs> even 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 people like that Larry yes, I, uh, even people I am from much Wisconsin. obliged <laughs> going through this process just step by step with this clean slate, uh, just like you, Larry, uh, I've been uh, friend. Well, friendly, I've been trading the long side exclusively since I started trying to bottom pick. I think that was, um, I think that was Thursday and Friday, October nineteenth and twentieth, and then it bottomed mm -hmm. and reversed up on the twenty third. Yep. That's so right. I, I have not been trying to take position trades, but I've just been uh, scalp trading it with multiple mm -hmm. contracts. And it turns out the uh, P&L is uh, working out very nicely with that. And uh, like you, coming into today, I was actually long from yesterday, having bought at that 112.12, or was it 112.17, whatever that number was. There was a triple bottom that we formed sure was. yesterday. Right there. Yeah. And I, I booked profits uh, some before the CPI came out, and then I got rid of the balance into uh, on the pop in reaction. And just in looking at things, I, I'm asking myself the question: Is this going to be kind of a runaway, or uh, or not? And I looked at that and I said, eh, if that's a free drive, this ain't no runaway bull bull trend. So uh, I appreciate you going through your uh, bisection of this pattern. Uh, much obliged. Well, it's my pleasure, John. All the work you do for TFNN and the trades that you give in there are really spectacular. So we really appreciate it, buddy. So thanks a lot. Be safe and have a wonderful holiday, okay? Be good, Larry. Bye. You bet. John Sherbany, folks. Tiger Dan, he knows his stuff. 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence.
Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights Firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, just for kicks and giggles, because this is something I'm going to be watching personally, whatever that means. Anyway, we know that this is a bullish day, right? We're only up 90-some uh, handles in the S&P, for God's sake. <laughs> anyway, you'll notice here uh, what we've done here just recently. Now, this is just a four-minute chart, but remember, this took a little over an hour to do. Remember, it's a bullish chart, and we were only able to make, guess what, folks? A 382 retracement of that move. Now, this one right here. We went from 21, we dropped 15 handles, okay? Uh, the harmonic number is 5.5. Uh, Multiply that out, that's 18 points. That's going to take you out right about here. This spot right here should be a 382 of something back here that we did sometime during the day today. So I'm just going to bring this up and take a look at it. We're going to see if we can move it around a little bit to see if we have a nice little spot here. Now, here's where the explosion took care. Okay, we had the explosion right here. Then we backed off. We went from 90. We only dropped nine points right here. So that's the biggest correction that you had all during that time. So that should be the 382 of that number right there if it's any good. So if you take this low up to the high and mark it in, I'm wrong. It goes to the 50% level. It's the 50% level. And then we came up and hit it then back. See, what we're doing right now, folks, I really, well, keep your mouth shut and be thought of a fool than to open your mouth and remove all doubt, Mark Twain. Anyway, let's take a look here. I really think that we got a chance here on this daily uh, just because of that. We're looking again at this. This is the, we're looking at the 13th. Today's the 14th. I mean, with this report, and believe me, folks, I don't believe these reports any more than I believe to the man who told me sold me those four shares of the Brooklyn Bridge when I got out of school there in uh, Terre Haute, Indiana, back when I was 12 years old, being in the fifth grade for so many years, they, they moved me on into high school because I was a very slow learner. This is what I'm going to be looking at here, folks, right around 4524. I'm going to be watching that tonight very closely because if we don't get much above it, it's no longer, it's no longer than this one. Well, well, look at this. Look at that. There's a new moon right here. Look what it did. It took out the previous high. Now, and we have a question here. Did we take out the high of the previous day? Hello, operator. This is one big puppy. The good part about it is, folks, this market except stops. So you can put the order in, and if you get stopped out, no big deal. You know, pick up your toys and go do something else, and that's what I'll do. But I'm going to be watching this one. I'm not going to let that out. I mean, I can't sell it. The high was 20. 45.20, that's four points away from where I wanted to do it, so I have to wait, but I'll be watching it closely. So if we get to this level here, let's just get this back up, blow it up a bit, because this is what I'd like to see for it to do, is to come up here one more time, and I'm going to be a seller at 45.20. Uh, 
24. You can bet your sweet little bippy on that one. And that's what I'll be looking for right here. There's more order right there at 22 and a half. So anyway, that's what I'll be, that's what I'll be uh, watching, okay? So it's important now. We had this 382 retracement, but the market hasn't. It's come back again. We start getting below here. That tells us that the short-term trend is turned down. That's really what it's trying to tell us. If we get below 4507, this trend is down. The high that we made here from the high down to the low looked like it was pretty much spot on at the uh, 618. Let's take a look. That came in at uh, 13. The high was uh, uh, 14. So it's right on the money. There's 13. There's 14. So we get below here, the, the short-term trend, and I do mean short-term because this is a four-minute one. Then you know that there's trouble in River City. So that's what we're paying attention to. We'll try to make a few bucks tomorrow, and, I, and we've done pretty good. If we have anywhere near the kind of market that we had today, we're going to be just fine. Because these markets, they they don't they don't disappear. They're here all the time. You just got to try to find the darn things, and then you're then you're far better off, you know, than what you're what you're looking at right here. I'm just using this as a judgment right here on the 382. This could be this was a bigger correction. You see, we came down from a 4487 all the way down. There's your there's your 15 point correction right here, 87 down to uh, 72 that's 15 points okay so that's that's your that's your fulcrum right there that's where your 382 would come in I almost bet a nickel or a dime if I had some time I was a poet oh there's your 382 right there it's it one two three times so that tells you below here uh oh we did not make that number up here so that's why this was the biggest correction. Look at this, folks, how the market repeats. Yeah, I'm giving you too much information. Who knows? Remember, we came down here. We went from 87 down to 72. That's 15 handles, okay? This one went from 90 down to 81. This was only nine handles. This one here went from uh, 08 down to 99, okay? That was 10 handles. This one was a big one. You see that? We went from... 19 all the way down and we got all the way down to here to 20 so we went we dropped 20 handles down from the high from 20 right here to even so that's it see we're, we're starting to roll over already you know that's my opinion and of course it's not worth very much this time of the day but we'll be paying close attention to that for sure okay someone else had a question about apple i wanted to get this up here because apple has been on the mind of everyone and you'll remember here we talked about this. We'll get the daily up because I started the show with this chart. This was the daily. This is what told me that that was the high of the market. Man, there was no way coming into the 13th that we're ever going to take this out. But that report, you know, saw it was going to go higher. Because there's your number. That's the low of the day actually today. And we've gone higher looking at this on a smaller time frame. You'll see there there we were, we were last night. Okay, and then look what happened. When the uh, when the market this is pre market of course before the market opened this is see what happened to Apple look it traded all the way up folks it traded all the way up and there are people selling all the way so no one was afraid of this shut the front door and raise the rent anyway these are a couple things that we want to watch but this is some really good trading opportunities the one in bonds looks really good and then the stock market and eh, that might be a little more iffy and there's a lot to happen before now and then but. That bond, that bond chart that Mr. Z talked about, that, that looks really interesting right here, folks. It really does. This is a four-hour chart, so this has taken four days to make this high, and we didn't go above it by very much. That tells you that there's some problems here. Looking at this, I might do this trade right now. Let's see if we're at. Yeah, here's where we are. Let's shut the front door. Let's take a look at this one here. I love that. That's one of my favorite movies. Uh, support your local sheriff okay we had a pretty big move down okay now what is our rule johnny yes put the placard down 382 is what we'll do move this over here from this high down to this low right here and look at this one two three four times that comes in at 08 we're trading where are we at 08 so the old cowboy is going to sell one here let's sell a couple okay we're going to get this up here right here Oh, I don't know if I can get the order in in time. Shut the front door and raise the rent. There we go. Oh, wait. Uh, see if we can get it to beep one time, and then we'll be okay. We'll get filled. And what I'll do is I'll put my stop six points right above here. So I'm only going to risk 200 bucks. 
if I'm right. If I'm right, I'm going to make some money. If I'm wrong, I'm going to lose 200. But boy, folks, if we get up here to this uh, 116, 12, 116, 13 tomorrow uh, or tonight, I'll be looking at that real close because that's the number, 116, 11. This is Scott Phil on this puppy, so let's see what happens. 10 4, we'll be right back. 877 927 6648. Tigers. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to trade right alongside Larry Pesavento? We'll wonder no more. Wednesday, November 15th, Larry Pesavento will be hosting a live trading webinar. From 8 a.m. to noon, look over Larry's shoulder as he analyzes potential trades and sets them up. Not only will you get a front row seat to the mind of a veteran trader, but you'll get to interact with Larry live as he plays his trades and goes through key material that has aided him in his profession. Go to the front page of TFNN.com, sign up for the service, and enjoy. TFNN, educating investors. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, uh, I want to take a look at crude oil right now. We had the 382 here yesterday, which was the 382 of the low we made here yesterday on the 13th. Uh, we know we had a beautiful A, B, C, D pattern here. My question is, why didn't this go up higher and make the A, B, C, D here? It didn't. It's given back. High was 79.80. We've given back, it looks like, about 78% of that whole move from your low to your high. There it was. It gave 78% of the move right there, came back. Now, maybe this was a big telltale sign. Now, it's only a 13-minute chart, but let's look at it. Sit down, Johnny, please. Anyway, there's your high right here. There's your low coming in right here. And there's your 382. It misses it by uh, six points. Now we're coming down. What we want to be watching now, we've made a lower low. And the rule is when you make a lower low, you look for the same 382 retracement off the high because 
that's going to be important from your high right here down to your low. The 3A2 is going to come in right here at 78.68. So if we don't get above, and remember it's taken uh, 45 minutes to do this one. This only took a few minutes. Uh, well, half an hour, this has taken 45 minutes. So watch this just for kicks and giggles, you know, humor me. Uh, watching it here for potential sale here at 78.78. The other reason, why did this go up here? So I would be looking at the daily chart to see if I can find a reason. Oh, my goodness, look at it right here. There, we're going to see where we are. Oh, my, oh, boy, if this is wrong, I'm going to, I'm not going to be happy if that's going to be a point off of that, but I don't think that it is. Let's just take a quick look at this thing right here, get rid of all these things, so all the boys and girls. Oh, we haven't got enough time to finish it, but it probably was a spot on 382 right up here. Bada bing, but I went above it by a little bit, 75.11 versus 75.80, so it did go above. 11 right here so we're going to do this all day tomorrow for five hours folks and try to make some money we've done the other five we've done well i think we'll do okay tomorrow wish you could carry them over from today folks but unfortunately they don't play the game like that we're starting from scratch tomorrow and let's see if we can make a couple of bucks i hope you can join me live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may god bless and do something nice for your neighbors folks because a lot of people have lots of troubles we'll see you tomorrow at Nine o'clock sharp for five hours.